Hi everyone, it's Chantal with Truma. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to decalcify your Truma Aquago using the decalcification tablets that you can easily purchase from our Amazon store. But before I talk about how, I wanna talk a little bit about why. It is important that you decalcify this unit. We recommend that you do it one time a year, maybe more if you use your water heater a, a whole lot. The system is actually quite smart and it's gonna tell you when it's time to decalcify, but we do recommend at least once a year that you are decalcifying. Now, the reason for that is that anytime you're heating water, whether it's in a tea kettle, a coffee pot, or an aquago, you are gonna have a breakdown of minerals and those minerals can build up inside of this unit. One of the things that makes our aquago work so flawlessly is there are a lot of temperature sensors inside of this aquago and they are on copper tubes. If you get a whole bunch of buildup inside of those copper tubes, you might not get the heat transfer to accurately pick up the temperature of the water, and it's gonna change the performance. In a worst case scenario, if you let it go for a really long time, it could become corrosive to the copper pipes inside the unit. So it is important as part of your regular annual maintenance that you do decalcify the unit. Now let's get into how. We're gonna start the decalcification process by first depressurizing the water system. You're gonna turn off the city water and then you're gonna go inside and depressurize the system. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna stand off to the side um, and you're going to open up the easy drain lever and remove the filter cartridge. There may still be a little bit of water inside of the Aquago that's gonna go down the easy drain lever and shoot away from the vehicle. When that stops running, the system is empty. Then you're going to take this filter cartridge and the decalcification tablets that you have purchased are going to stack up inside of the screen part of the filter assembly, and then you'll reinsert that back into the unit. So all six tablets have fit neatly inside of the filter assembly. And now we are going to go ahead and reinsert that back into the water heater all right, so we've stacked up those tablets inside of the filter cartridge. We've put the filter cartridge back inside the Aquago. We've closed the easy drain lever. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is turn back on your city water. Then you're gonna come out here to this rocker switch and turn the Aquago power on at the rocker switch, either position up or down, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna head back inside of the RV. You're going to want to choose the faucet inside of the RV that has the highest water flow. Once you've chosen your faucet, if there are any screens or aerators in the faucet, you're going to want to remove them so that they don't catch any debris that might break loose from the decalcification process. Um, once you do that, you're going to open up the faucet. When you start to see water come out, then you're gonna go ahead and turn the faucet off. You may notice when the water starts to run that it has a pink appearance and that is normal because of the tablets that you've put into the water heater. So you'll turn the water off. We have now pressurized the system and now we're ready to start the decalcification process.